Open source apps have been powering useful and privacy respecting experiences for Android users for a long time and they continue to evolve thanks to passionate developers and communities. From privacy first tools to genius utilities you won't find on the Play Store charts. And since we all use a bunch of applications every day, some stick, most don't. But today I've got a list of open source Android applications that are more useful and worth installing. Let's jump in. In a recent video, I featured an application called Edge Control. The app is called Edge Control and all you need to do is slide your finger along the left or right edge of your screen and you can instantly adjust brightness or volume without... And I had not realized it wasn't on the Play Store anymore. I saw the comments and made my research for a similar application. Meet Edge Seek. It has the same features of Edge Control and even more. And it's open source. So while Edge Control only controls medium volume and screen brightness with Edge gestures, Edge Seek lets you control your audio or screen brightness plus control alarms, ring, and system volume, adjust edge sensitivity, and more. Each edge can be set up separately, so you can do volume on the left and brightness on the right. And here's the cool part, there's a dimmer mode that lets you go below zero brightness. It's minimal and smart, and honestly kind of addictive once you get used to it. And an application like this also helps maintain physical volume buttons and also saves you time from entering the quick panel to control brightness. One simple timer app I cannot let go from my phone is BBQ Timer. This one's a combination of an interval timer and a stopwatch designed specifically for cooking and other activities. It gives you periodic alarms to remind you to turn your food and at the same time tracks total cook time. Aside having dedicated timer features for cooking, as the name suggests, it's still a pretty useful timer. You can type in your interval in any format and it shows up everywhere you need it. It shows up on the lock screen, notification panel, and of course, you can also see it with a resizable home screen widget. And so if you want a simple straightforward timer that works and is easy to access, check this out. One essential category of apps on most Android phones is weather applications. And even though there are tons of them, most are old but unpopular and new ones keep coming in. And on the latter, meet Prognosa. And it's not just another weather application. First of all, it's labor. So it's completely free and open source and it gives you forecast for the day and upcoming days. You can switch between light and dark themes. And if you are on Android 12 or above, the app even matches your system color. And what actually stands out is the app's minimal design. The layout is clean and simple. It doesn't request location permission. You only have to enter a location and the weather info comes up. And it supports a couple of popular weather data providers. And so if you care about privacy or just want to check the weather without the application knowing exactly where you are, this one is for you. Speaking of minimalist design, check out Write On. It's a simple notepad application that looks great and gets out of the way. I love everything about this notes app. It supports Markdown. You can switch between reading and editing modes. You can archive notes. It supports calendar, text translation tool, and search. Plus, it automatically saves every update. It comes with clean, distraction-free writing with material you design that can adapt to your wallpaper. You can also choose to only display notes titles on the homepage, which adds to the minimalism. You've got biometric authentication to lock down your notes, zero permissions required, which is rare, automatic backups, and full offline functionality. Plus, it has screen protection, which once enabled, it blurs out the app's content on recent applications. Everything stays on your device and it's built to be clutter-free and ad-free. It is just elegant and it's simple so if it fits your needs, you can check it out. Next, let's talk about Routine Tracker. And this one is for people who want to stay consistent, whether it's a habit or a long-term goal. It's part calendar planner and part habit tracker, and it's trying to do something most trackers don't. Predict how long it will take you to actually achieve something based on your pace. You can set routines to run daily, weekly or monthly, or even just a certain number of times per period. And if you fall behind, it helps you catch up by pushing the missed routines to your next free day. It is smart, adaptable and totally free, no ads and no limits, no online accounts required, everything stays local and offline. The app looks great, it supports material you design, and it gives you a clean visual calendar to track your streaks and completions. It's a productivity tool that doesn't try to be flashy, it just works. If you are so big on avoiding digital distractions, keeping focus, and avoiding smartphone addiction and all of that, Unlock Master helps you become more aware of how often you are unlocking your phone. It tracks your unlock count, which stays in the notification panel, it lets you set limits, and sends friendly nudges when you are getting close to that limit. 
and for every unlock, the app tracks how long the phone stays on. You will also get a daily summary notification with charts and suggestions. It is one of those applications that's all about awareness because sometimes most of us unlock even without thinking. And then there is this application called Rush. And this is for those music heads out there. With it, you can search, view, and store lyrics, and even share them as customizable cards. You can take a lyric, make a nice card out of it, and send it to a friend or save it to your phone. It also supports synced lyrics, and so if you are listening to music on your phone, it can automatically detect the current song with notification access if you have local music files, you can even batch download lyrics for all of them at once. It is smooth, simple, and super handy if you are someone who loves diving into lyrics. The goal is to bring some unpopular open source applications you will love to have on your phone. And if that's worked, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment let me know which of these applications you are going to install first. Also leave a like on the video if you love open source applications, feel free to share the video and as always, thank you for watching.